In podcast number two, we are going to discuss how a prokaryotic cell will go through cell division. First of all, I just want to review what a prokaryotic cell is. Remember, prokaryotic cells are bacteria. And I just want you to remember the, the neat little mnemonic device that we have. Uh, just remember that pro means no. Now that's not entirely true. The prefix pro means first. But in our case, we want to remember that pro means no because prokaryotic cells have no nucleus or membrane bound organelles. So this pro equals no is going to be a great way for you to remember. All right. Now, prokaryotic cells do have DNA. Remember, DNA is the instructions for making proteins. So even a prokaryotic cell needs to be able to make the proteins and enzymes to make their uh, metabolism run. Now their DNA is in a single circular piece of DNA called a nucleoid. And if you look down here in this picture of this pink bacterium, this is the nucleoid right here. That would be the, the orange line here. Now just kind of imagine that you have a rope and it's tied together into a circle. That's essentially what a nucleoid is. Probably holds about a thousand genes or so. So it has the instructions to make about a thousand proteins. Now DNA also, or I'm sorry, the prokaryotic cells also have DNA in small little circular snippets called a plasmid. And that's what these little Cheerio or SpaghettiO sized things are down here. Now these plasmids are used during transformation. So if you can remember back from an earlier chapter, when we talked about Dr. Griffith and how he did the uh, experiments with the mice and ammonia and he discovered transformation. So what happened in Dr. Griffith's experiments were the, uh, the R strain bacteria had taken in some smooth strain plasmids and that transformed these guys into the smooth strain which gave the mouse uh, pneumonia and of course killed them. All right, so that's what plasmids are used for. All right, so how do they divide? Well, first of all, they go through a process called binary fission. Now, if you look at this prefix right here, binary, that means two. And fission means, whoa, slow down here. Fission means to split. So if you put the two words in together, together uh, the bacterium is just split in two. Now, the first step of this binary fission is DNA replication. Once again, because each of the two daughter cells need to have a complete set of DNA. Each daughter cell needs to be able to make all the proteins that are required to survive. Step number two is fission. And you want to remember that fission means simply to split. All right, so fission means to split. So they'll split in two. So you've replicated the DNA so that each daughter cell has a complete set of life's instructions. And then you simply divide into two. All right, we have a picture that'll show that better than I can just write it. All right, let me slide this up here just a bit. All right, so you see your bacterial chromosome. Remember, you just learned that is called a nucleoid. And remember, we have two steps to binary fission. The first one is replication. So as you can see here, one, two nucleoids. So this will be replication right here. And then in step number two, you have the fission. As you can see here, this is beginning to divide right here along. And this spot right here is called a cleavage furrow. Uh, cleavage means to cut, so it's going to cut in half. And as you see here, what we have in these pictures right down here are two genetically identical, let me get caught up here, two genetically identical daughter cells. Right, so if these are daughter cells, then this one over here would have been called the mother cell. Make that H a little bit better. Right, so genetically, this bacterium is exactly the same as the mother, mother cell. The DNA has the same sequence of A's and T's and C's and G's. And then these two are clones of each other. So when you do binary fission, remember binary fission is a type of asexual reproduction. And remember, asexual reproduction, you have no genetic variety. All right, that will conclude podcast number two from chapter 10.